At exam time, the Ole Miss Library is seeing large crowds of students flooding in to begin to prepare for final exams. But what students aren't thinking about is the possibility of their belongings being stolen. Junior Sarah Brown, along with many others, had a first-hand experience having her purse, wallet, and car keys stolen while she got up to go to the bathroom. I mean, I've been going there since freshman year, and I'm a junior, and I've never had problems, and, like, everyone just kind of leaves or something. I mean, you're going to the bathroom. You don't think you need to, like, take your laptop to the bathroom for two minutes. Students often leave their personal items behind while going to the bathroom, getting in line for Starbucks, or meeting up for group assignments. I'm here at the J.D. Williams Library where they are jump-starting a new campaign to raise awareness about theft in the library. Starting next week, they will be handing out these cards which will inform students to make sure they don't leave their items unattended. It's a library and you want to feel safe here, but it's still a public place where lots of people are coming and going. Um, you know, we don't have security at the doors, we're not checking IDs or anything, so anybody can come through. So if you're going to leave your stuff, you're opening yourself up for the possibility that it gets stolen. The library staff encourages students to notify them of their missing items in order to keep them in the loop of what is going on for them to be able to take the proper measures in order to fix the problem. We also know that space in the library is a premium, so you want to claim your spot once you get a spot. Um, so really we're just trying to encourage people to not, you know, if you're going to leave something, leave a notebook. The library also recommends students leave their items with a friend at their table rather than alone. I feel like Ole Miss is generally a really safe campus and stuff, and I just never assumed anything would get stolen. The moral of the story is that your own college campus is not immune from theft. Sarah Kate Caliguire, Newswatch, Ole Miss.